One, two, three, yeah. Hello, oh, well, my name's Fox Ryan. So big and I've been Fox. And would you actually believe that me and the professor fused? And that's why I'm wearing my vest in this. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Whatever. <laughs> no, that's not how it happened. Or maybe it is in an alternate dimension. But anyways, this is Steven Universe Log Seven One Five Two because I have it on the TV right now. <laughs> but this is this was another Steven Universe for the Steven Universe birthday week. Today is Friday. Today's Friday. Okay, I don't know if the one where Lapis comes in is ne episode after this one, if that's gonna be come out tomorrow on Saturday, or if it's going to wait till next Thursday or something. I don't know. They had, I think, a commercial for it, so I'm hoping it's going to come soon. But let's talk about this episode instead. This episode is where Steve, where Peridot is going a little cuckoo cachoo. Because she's talking on her little um, recorder saying, Oh my god, oh my gosh, um, this, uh, this world, I tell, I told Yell Dinoclaude, I'm, in, I'm gonna die, I'm a crystal gem! And then she s turns it off and listens to it back and then she's laughing like, <laughs> I called her a Claude, yes, I called her a Claude, I'm gonna die, I called her She's just switching through moods of fear and holy crap, what have I done to, yes, she did it, awesomeness. Let me take this off. It's better with my. It's more cheerier with that on right now. But yeah, so she's going a little ballistic. Um, Garnet pulls her away to talk to her a bit, but she um, Peridot gives the recorder to Steven, where then Steven starts listening into the recordings, where he then record listens from the first episode or the first time he gives the recording, he <laughs> which is pretty funny because Steven says. You don't need to call me the Steven, just call me Steven. And then Peridot says on the recorder, I told him I wouldn't like I didn't like I didn't like that and I like to call him the Steven. And her way of saying that is <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny. Peridot's basically a cat. A cat. And Steven's like, no! And Peridot's like, fine, I've decided to call him this I call him Steven. Which then, as the story progresses onward, um, you go into where they Stephen is trying to teach her things, um, gives her um, these uh, cans for stilts. So, um, I was I thought he was gonna say for the replace the basically I'm pretty sure it's to replace the leg thing, um, the leg uh, extenders that uh, Perry had the attachments and the stilts. Where Peridot's like. No, they, I don't. No, I don't want. I don't like that. No, no, just give me. Like he, he said, like you're supposed to give it you to a friend, and the friend's supposed to say thank you, thank you. And, or she says some way. I forgot what it was. And Stephen's parents like, no, go away. And, thank you with the things, and then she's dancing around like, oh yes, Gar yes, Pearl, I have gotten taller, having the stilts on, which was hilarious. Um. And then at one point she tries on underwear because she's because apparently we also got now that um, gem clothing, well at least from what uh, she was saying that gem clothing is always kind of sealed onto the gem or it's always a part of that gem which makes sense with the clothing always changing from gem whenever they um, re-emerge from their uh, gems and Peridot actually started liking wearing boxers. Until Garnet found her, and he's like, "Yeah!" <laughs> he rips them off, which was hilarious. Also had aliens on the boxers, and also alien on the recorder. So I don't know, maybe that's supposed to say alien. More other aliens are gonna come, or just that she's alien. She's gonna like alien things, which would be cool. And then you keep going a little bit more. Um, she gets into this soap opera-ish anime, though it's only one episode that she's watched for three days and she pulls out a chart on why these two characters fall in love and are supposed to love each other. Also, I think it takes place in Canada. I don't know. <laughs> the, the soap opera or soap opera anime. Which then later on, uh, Peridot sees Pearl and Amethyst fuse together to help put the drill up so that they could, you know, put the drill because this is backlogging everything that happened. And then Peridot goes up to Garnet asking, I don't understand you. What you're not doing anything. Why are you staying fused? And Garnet says, I am doing something. I'm gazing at the stars. And um, Peridot says, You can do that alone. Garnet says, I don't want to do that alone. And she also taps for Peridot to sit next to her. And then Garnet even offers 
to fuse with Peridot, which I'm thinking, fudge, yes, I want to see this happen. Sadly, we don't see it, but we see a Peridot try to dance using the cans to stand up, but she can't, but she messed up at the end where it's kind of the fusion ha thing where you have to tip your finger, you have to keep in touch, but Peridot doesn't do that, messes up, and oh no. And she's like, I'm not ready for this, I'm not ready to fuse, and it's okay. And my, and I'm pretty, like, this you can allude to, like, um, uh, uh, sex screwing. You can basically equip it to that, having intercourse. You, that is basically kind of what I was attributing this to. Like, you can, you, you can do it when you're ready. You do it, you can do it when you're ready. Don't let anyone pressure you into it. You can do it when you're ready and stuff like that. That's how I kind of attributed this to that, which this is a good, at least I would say this is probably somewhat of a good uh, comparison, I would say. Like, that's how I saw that scene, which I'm pretty sure is probably how it's supposed to be taken. And though, mind you, I'm not saying that Garnet being fused together is Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, you get the joke. You get you get the gist. I don't. I'm not saying that it's all there. That's what I always do. But the fusion is kind of like having a relationship a little bit, which that is kind of like that. Garnet is more a perfect love, of always perfect in a sense. And that, but that's how I kind of attribute it to the, the fusion to be. Mind you, I'm not going to say if she fuses with Peridot, if um, Peridot fuses with Steven, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not saying that, but I am saying that that's what you can attribute that to. Mind you, I'm a virgin also, so, <laughs> uh, I don't know, but whatever. But in any case, that's what I attributed that to, but um, Peridot says she doesn't want to do it, and but she says that but she says in her log that because of this because of this uh because of this uh no um garnet says that it's similar to the two characters in the show that's what she is she's like she's always you know perfect love always fused together so um peridot then says that even though i don't understand why they fuse although i wanted to understand more about fusion I learned more about the Garnet, or Garnet, the permafusion, as she called it. And then Garnet um, tells on the little thing to Steven, okay, you can give it back to Peridot now. And Peridot's like, what? what? I guess Peridot still doesn't know about the future vision, which um, Steven then goes, oh, and turns it off. He looks over, sees Garnet, Peridot are talking, Peridot and Garnet come back, per um, Steven gives the the recorder to um, Peridot, which Garnet does her, you know, usual thumbs up, Steven does a thumbs up, and then Peridot goes, thumbs up. Also, another thing that I wanted to add before that, because it was pretty cool, before all this happened, before Steven gets the thing, Garnet, when Garnet picks up Peridot, which was funny, but picks up Peridot to go talk with her, to have a talk with her, um, she says, now that I'm a crystal gem, I have to get a... Do I have to wear a star? Where am I gonna put a star? Which shows that the star is their symbol, which of course it is, but it's just kind of cool. Like the star is the symbol of the Rose Rebellion, basically. And it just so happens that um, Greg's symbol was the star also, which just... Okay. Anyway, sorry, back. But what I say is like that the star is the symbol of the Rose Alliance. It's kind of cool knowing that Greg's symbol was a star also. So it's kind of like epic. Hey! Get over here. But, sorry. But yeah, it was just, that was, it was a pretty fun episode. It was cool seeing Peridot. Now she's basically officially a, ge a crystal gem, which is epic. I can't wait till they get Lapis because hopefully Lapis will also join. Which then, like, it's kind of cool because if they do join the Crystal Gems, each one of them is going to have a certain something that's going to keep them from wanting to join. Peridot is her allegiance to um, Yellow Diamond and, you know, what she's been taught. 
she has to go against that and become a rebel to become a crystal gem. Lapis is going to have to go against all her hate, most likely hate, because it's inferred. It said um, people believe that, like, well, which also the gems did lock her away. So yeah, but Lapis is most likely going to have to get over her hate for the gems and hate for Peridot to then join the Crystal Gems, which will be awesome. Jasper. Jasper, if she does become part of the Crystal Gems, Jasper is probably going to have to get over her pride. Most likely her pride. Because even though I like J Jasper is pretty good as a bad guy, I do like, I do like this cast. Like, one... If you look at Steven Universe cats, it's actually a lot of characters that you just don't see them all the time, which will kind of be somewhat similar, I'm pretty sure, with, like, if the new gems come in, so, like, it won't be always, like, too many people in the same room, I would say, hopefully. And it would be cool to see Steven hang out with Lapis, Peridot, and possibly Jasper also, and see these three gems also interact with everyone on Earth. Oh! Speaking about interacting on Earth, Peridot believes seeing a bug fly away, wondering if other animal, if other Earthlings can fly. So she pushes Greg off a roof. That was funny. I'm like, she's not going to, right? She's not. She's gonna like let Greg fall through the roof or something, right? She's not gonna push. Nope. Shrimp pushes her off the roof. Pushes him off the roof. Garnet catches Greg. He's like, you can't be pushing people off the roof. Peridot's like, why? They're very soft and easy to break. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was, it was just so funny to me. I just thought it was hilarious. Yes, he's Joey. I thought it was hilarious. Um, I cannot wait. I I want more Steven Universe. I want to, I don't know when the next episode is going to come out, but I really want the episode with Lapis because I want to see Lapis because one, we got Connie back in, which was awesome, but we didn't get Connie talking with Peridot. We didn't get that interaction, which is like, fine, I wanted to see that. I wanted to see that interaction. And now I want to see Lapis's interaction with Peridot. I want to see Lapis's inter interaction with Peridot because Lapis, from the commercial I saw, she was angry. She looked at Peridot with hate. With that one screenshot that I saw, Lapis looked at Peridot with pure and utter hatred, which I want to see. I want to see Peridot try to, not suck up, but to uh, not suck up, but I'm trying to say the right way to say this. I want to see Peridot interact with him. I want to see Peridot try to amend, to make amends with Lapis, and I want to see how the fudge Lapis is going to react, most likely badly, but what was it? There's a picture I saw. I think it has one side it's Peridot, the other side's Lapis. Peridot has all these written down. It's like, I tried to shoot Steven, kidnap Steven. Um, I started to cluster all this stuff and stuff. And then I, and it scratched out the bottom is, but I really like this thing or something. And then the Lapis one is, I tried to drown Steven. I tried to destroy the Crystal Gems. I almost destroyed the entire Earth. And that's all scratched out. And the bottom it goes, <laughs> Tumblr says I didn't do anything, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> Like, that was just a funny thing, because Lapis has done a lot of crazy crap, has tried to kill a lot of things also. Tried to kill Steven, and also, whoops, tried to kill Steven, and also done what? Tried to kill Steven and almost destroy the Earth. Though, mind you, she was trying to get home, but yeah. Also, we learned that the... Uh, gem galaxy is actually visible from Earth. Well, at least the star. But yeah, it was just hilarious, I thought. This episode was freaking hilarious. I cannot wait for more episodes. I want to see Lapis come in there because I want to see the interaction. I want to see Paradise interact with Lapis. I want to see Lapis interact with all the other crystal gems. We have the interaction of Paradise with all the other gems where Paradise has bonded with at least with all the gems by now, she's now bounded with Garnet, Steven, Pearl, and Amethyst. So that's awesome. But now if Lapis is entered in, now she has to somehow find a way to bond with her. And Lapis has to figure out a way to trust the rest of the gems. 
which is going to be awesome because I want to see Lapis back. I want to see Lapis as a bigger character. I love Lapis. Not to mention, I want to see Centipedal come back and see Centipedal healed because I want to see how Centipedal is going to react to Steven, especially because I kind of have a theory going around that I have a theory in my head a little bit about that, about um, the acid, well, a healing spit and a, an acidic spit. So, you know, a little bit of opposite, so a little theory going around there, but can't wait for more Steven Universe. I want to see Perry in there. I want to see some more funny things, but thank you everyone for watching. We will see you next time, whenever it will be. Thank you everyone for watching this and TV. So say hello to everyone you see. Tell them to watch Steven Universe, cause it's amazing. Ding! <laughs> One, two, three.